So you just go a couple mile of water. Yeah. Just take the boat over there. Yeah. Okay. They're pretty easy. Anything else? Uh, public comments? Um, move on to new business. Summer concert series. There's an update on that, Maureen. <coughs> Um, this is my last time that I will be doing this. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we're here. Um, so as far as the budget goes, it's really nice in the, the generosity of giving us twenty thousand, not twenty thousand. Um, our hope after last year's success with bringing in a lot of sponsors that we will not have to use that. Um, and I don't know, are you getting any good your mind? We're, yeah, they're starting to roll back in. So we kind of left it that way because we don't know how this year is going to end up. But as Lorraine said, last year was a record year for us for sponsorships. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just rolled in. It was awesome. Um, hopefully they'll continue, but who knows? I mean, it's a little bit different. The economy's a little different. So Mike had left it where he had budgeted 20000 for the Summer Concert Series. I believe he did that last year as well. And then we came back after we settled up and asked for a final amount. So we'd like to leave it that way. Right. Um, and then one other thing that Lorraine had brought up was we are having Fusion, which is the, the high school's rock orchestra. Fusion rock orchestra. They are going to have a concert Sunday afternoon, the first Sunday, I think it's the fourth. Um, and they're not asking for any money for it, but um, and they're providing their own sound, so we don't have to uh, pay John to be there. But looking at the budget, and I'm looking at the original budget and the revised, um, if we did bring the musicians up to the 20,000, um, it would give us 650 that we could potentially give them. And they use it for instruments and all that type of thing. So I don't know if that would, that would um, have to be something that we, we would also cover with you guys, depending upon how many sponsors we have. But I wonder how you felt about us adding um, you know, some money in the budget to bring it up to 20,000. So give them a, you know, stipend. So the letter you're requesting 12? Well, right now the musician's budget was originally 20, and it was revised after we did all the contracts to 19,350. But if we added Fusion in there at 650, you know, it would bring it up to We're asking for 12, so. Oh, I see, so we would just, we would do 12,650. Yeah. So you're asking 12 from the DA? Yes. Chairman okay. Ray? Yes. Mike, Mike couldn't be here tonight, so he, today, so he asked me to fill in for him. We talked with Mike about this. He's, uh, of course, we're all very much in support of it. But Mike's recommendation was to uh, approve the total 20000 And again, they'll come back and ask for what they need, and then we can fill that in later. But that way, not limit their amount. 20 was budgeted, so let them work up to 20000 if it would be. Okay. So the letter states 12, but they're asking for 20. Of the city manager's recommending. No, that's that's yes, that was the city manager's recommendation. Okay. He, last year, he, I don't know if you remember that, we had a shortfall, everything went up. So oh, okay. he put in 20000 into the budget. He did that again this year. Okay. Yeah, but then again, he'd like to make sure we don't short ourselves and, and, and uh, miss out on something. So his recommendation is to approve it at 20 and then uh, we'll, we'll balance up at the end of the year. Okay, um, gentlemen, I'll make that motion. Okay, Brian, support. is there a second? I support. Right. Any further discussion? I'd like to ask a question, and I'm wondering if there is a billboard on the highway that specifically mentions this event, or and maybe you've already done this or done this in the past? Yeah, put a billboard up for some instances. No? Okay. I mean, it's obviously a consideration, but that would be another budget. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. You have to get some yeah, we do a lot of social media posting for the summer concerts, and they're well attended. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and I will speak from this. We're a little bit worried this year, concerned with the construction that's going to be happening on Monroe. We're going to be tore up, so we're going to do our best to keep things moving ahead and working with the city 
um, on both the summer concerts and the Riverwalk Festival. So we're going to have a parking lot, all kinds of stuff going on. So <laughs> it'll be a year. Okay. We've got a motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions for uh, Lorraine or Liz? If we do have extra and they can find it, I would like to see the school orchestra get more than 650 I think in instruments and maintenance are a little more expensive than people think. So if there's leftover money, I'd like to see a little bit of it go to them. Okay. And why do they play? Um, I think the first Sunday of June is the 4th, so it's going to be an afternoon concert. But they're fantastic if you haven't mm -hmm. heard them. We had two sold out shows at the gallery, and I, you know, we had people that wanted tickets, and we couldn't get the tickets for so They're pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, motion in a second. Any further dis dis discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Okay, report and member comments. I was asked to point a couple things out to you. Uh, again, Mike could be here. He's uh, in the process starting the budget. He's hoping that we would be able to bring some information back to the next meeting as to next year's budget and get that worked through. And then he also wanted me to mention that he's looking at a couple streets for uh, street work this upcoming year. Uh, top of his list is the short strip of Ottawa from Hudson to the west. It's really poor shape that falls under the DBA, so he'd like to, to look at getting that one done. If there's funds available, he's uh, uh, also look at the short piece of Chad and Street. Okay, we'll do a little more as the budget works through it. And as far as the Monroe Street, um, yeah, that's going to be a mess next year or this year. Well, we have more details as to how that's all going to play out. I'll make sure I come to the DBA and let you all know at a meeting exactly what we know. and we all can plan accordingly. Uh, my, my goal is as soon as we are for sure out for bid, uh, right now the paperwork for Monroe has been sent into the feds. Feds work through the state. It's, it's, a, it's a hassle to do the paperwork, but we're in the process of doing it. As soon as that's done, then we'll go out for bid. It's a 30 day uh, bid period, and then we'll know who's there and when they're going to start. And okay, as soon as we get that information, uh, we'll let the, the DDA board know. My plan is also to have a couple public meetings. One with the residents up the street, another one with the businesses over here. So everyone's on the same page as far as what we know, they know we can plan accordingly. Because one of the big things is going to be getting in for everything that takes place downtown. And then if you sit sit out here um, every morning and watch the semis come in for deliveries, and we got to figure out how we're going to be able to make sure that can still happen. Will this totally some, be closed? Completely? No, not for the most part, no. But there'll be times when it is when they're doing work right. They're not going to be tear the whole street up all at once for the whole thing. They'll start at one end and work to the other. And depending on who gets it, what company gets it, and how big they are, they might start with two crews. We don't know. That's their prerogative. So once we know that, that'll really fine tune our knowledge as to how it's going to happen. But um, my guess is, um, as far as the replacement stuff go, they'll start. We're going all the way from Front Street to Fremont. So it's the whole stretch of road plus the back parking lot here because the utilities that go to the businesses on the uh, north side of the road all come in off the back and they're old, there's problems, so we're replacing all that as well. So they get new sewer, new water lines, and that's where the back parking lot is going to get tore up big time. And then about a third of it, our thought is, well, if we're going to do a third, we might as well do the whole parking lot this year and be done with it and not have to come back and interrupt. So. That's what's going to happen there. And if you recall, this little stretch of uh, manure right outside the window here was done a few years back. So there's mostly that area's uh, lining of the line, but the, because we have to tap into it to get to the alley, there'll be a big hole there. So uh, probably by the end of the season, we'll resurface the whole thing. So the whole road is done all at the same time. So we have a brand new road all the way through. So that's. Any idea when it's going to start? Uh, best guess I have is probably May. Because if you have, you know, it's February, I can get it out for a bit to March, they get ordered in April, they'll be started probably in May. And I doubt it'll all get done in one year. They'll probably have a lot of cleanup to do once. Is that Mike uh, on his way to the Super Bowl? Sure. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You know, he's in Lansing for I think he's trying to get some more money for the city, so. That's all I have. Mayor? No, sir. Oh, Brian? I'd like to congratulate Liz and Lorraine for their many years of service to the local community and wish them well in retirement. Thank you. I just wanted, if I could just take a minute and introduce Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Shannon Kennedy. She's your new executive director. I know you're going to... I've already gone, grown, obviously, so close to Liz, because now she's going to start making me cry. But yes, my name is Shannon Kennedy. This is week four on the job. Um, and I look forward to, um, if I haven't met a handful of you already, but I look forward to meeting the rest of you and working in partnership with you. Um, I'm super excited and just about the legacy that uh, Liz has built here. And I know our events can reach uh, far and wide. So we'll look to continue that tradition and then we'll look at what other um, things we can bring to the chamber and offer our businesses in town. So thank you. For Welcome. Thank you. Um, I just want to say the warming fire a few weeks ago in the snowstorm was pretty well attended. We had a lot of extras stop by. We were there for the entire time covered in snow. <laughs> but it was fun. And we had a nice, cute little couple that came from, who were they, Marty Portland? Portland or somewhere. Yeah. And it was, just had a baby. It was their first night out away from the child. And they came right across and they're like, this is really cool. So my whole point of it is, is it's, it's drawing attention, you know, people see it and they're like, what's going on, you know, and they'll come by and hang out for a beer or two and close down, down the restaurant or waiting for their table. So thank you all for letting us do this for one more year at least. Here? No comment. Two Eric's now. Uh, welcome, uh, I'm glad to be here and thank you for uh, your support bringing me onto the board and I'm uh, anxious to help out the city and all of you. And I've got a lot to learn, so thank you. Sue? Um, I'll just uh, um, close by um, mentioning that uh, the new restaurant, um, Pino Rio, that opened up. Did I say that right, Kurt? Rio Plano. Rio Plano. Um, it opened up the next the other, another <laughs> restaurant, and they, they sunk a ton of money into it, so I don't know what, what it does to our um, PDA that line, but any, any addition is always uh, helpful, and, and, um, and Liz and Lorraine, best of luck to you in, uh, in your, uh, in your, uh, uh, <laughs> you too. <laughs> <of years>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too far behind. So. I know you <laughs> And with that, we'll uh, need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. And I'll let you determine who that was. Is there a second? I'll okay. support that. And I'll be second. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Can stay here.